please understand what I am saying to you. When someone asks you to do something for them, don't always charge them money. It is not a bad thing to charge them money, depending on what you are doing for them, but sometimes do things for free for people that ask. Or charge them like a very low price to do or for you to help that person. You don't have to charge people, everyone, the full price. It is not a bad thing to want nice things on this earth. But if you are planning on going to heaven, the good deeds that you do for people, you are going to be rewarded for it. Foremost, make sure that you are obeying God, obeying what the Bible says. When you leave this earth, you can't take anything with you. Some people work their whole lives and then they die. Guess what? They leave everything behind. How would you like working so hard? putting so much time, sweat, blood, tears, and effort into getting what you want. The next thing you know it, you die. After placing 20, 30, 50 years in something. A person can say, that is just a waste. Now, if I told you, if you work hard, everything is going to come with you, then it would make more sense to do whatever you like. But since everything on this earth is going to dry up, decay, rust, and burn out, why are you working so hard for this earth? It is meaningless. If anything, what you should be doing is doing things for God and doing things for people. Those things are going to carry on with you into the next life, into the next realm. If you plan on going to heaven, if you plan on having great things in heaven, great rewards in heaven, what you should be doing is doing things for people, serving people per se, and build up your rewards in heaven that way. Your life on earth determines what you get in heaven. But so many people are so blind and they are focused on gain in this world. Years ago, or some years ago, I used to work overtime and I would place so much effort in making money. Always wanted to make more and more and more money. And I did not always do things right to make money, if you know what I mean. And some things happened and I pretty much lost <laughs> almost everything. And when that happened, because you can't say, well, let me work hard again and try to make some more money. When I lost it, or much of it, something came to my mind. You are wasting your time. <laughs> and I thank God that I lost it because 
if I didn't didn't lose it, I still would be chasing money till this day, perhaps. It is not worth it. Now, what I focus on is helping people, learning more about God, and finding out ways how to serve God much more proficiently, much more in an easier way and a better way. We are not on this earth just to live our lives, per se. We are on this earth to serve God and bring more people to serve God. You are not living for the purpose God has placed you on this earth. You are living, how can I say this? Many people are living in vain. Everything they do on this earth is pretty much in vain, a waste of time. A waste of time. This is your time to show to God how loyal you are to him. Please listen to what I am saying. Your focus about this world is off. Stop caring about money so much and gain so much, working two, three, four jobs, trying to get more and more money. Do you see all of these earthquakes and the hurricanes and all this stuff here. <laughs> Time for making money is over. Everything on this earth is going to be destroyed. But people are ignoring what is going on. Things are going to get much worse. Much worse. But you are still trying to make a dollar. When you see the world being destroyed. I was watching some videos on YouTube about Houston, Texas and what area is that? Ah, I can't think of that city. But they were showing these flooded homes nice homes and all that money lost some people worked all their lives or worked very hard to get what they wanted and in a short time period everything is gone everything they gained pretty much gone Nothing left. Can you see the writing on the wall? Can you see it? I am trying to tell you things are going to get much more worse on this earth. Why? Because people are not trying to hear God. So God is going to allow much more disaster on this earth. I am trying to tell you time for making money and trying to have a good life, per se, it's over. It is over. Start doing things of God now. Focus on God now. Or are you going to wait until your home gets destroyed or when a plague come about in America? Or are you going to wait until war begins here everything is over <laughs> i am trying to tell you everything is over your earthly life per se is over time to focus on god 
I don't know if this is making sense to you. If you see those, el those other areas in America going down, what do you believe is going to happen to you? Your area is going down as well. It is just a matter of time. It is over. Time to come to God now. This is why I was saying, do things for people and don't charge them for it. Begin to, begin to do things of what the Bible says. Help people out the kindness of your heart, not for charge. Time for making money of course, you have to work to eat and pay bills and stuff like that. But what I am saying, your main focus should not be on gain, but should be on doing things for God. It is over. Placing all your focus on trying to make your home look nice and doing all this other stuff, it is over with. It is over. Or does God have to do the same thing that he has done in Houston to your home as well? When are you going to wake up? When? It is over with. Focus on God. Focus on his rules and regulations. Time, the time we have now is grace. This is our grace period now, but destruction is going to happen much more. I am trying to tell you, I am trying to tell you. Other than focusing on these other vain things, focus on trying to get your family right with God. Focus on praying, focus on reading your Bible, focus on doing things of God. Only those things are going to be carried with you in the next realm once you die. Focusing so much on your earthly life, that is over with. That is over with. So I pray that this makes sense. Get tuned in with God. Focusing so much on your earthly life, it is foolish now. It is silly. Trying to build up your earthly life, it makes no sense to do that. Let me say this too. Some people on the internet say you should buy gold and silver. Okay, once they put in effect the mark of the beast, where you can't buy or sell anything, what good is gold and silver? If you can't make transactions anywhere, unless you have the mark of the beast in your right hand, I believe, and or in your forehead, what good is gold and silver? Think about it. The only way that you are going to buy and sell and do all that stuff there is if you have the mark of the beast. You can buy all the gold and silver you want. <laughs> if you don't have that mark, what can you buy? Think about that. The mark of the beast. You can't buy or sell anything. And we know that if you take that mark of the beast, that you are going to hell. Like, you can't repent after that. There is no more repentance once you take the mark of the beast. You are going straight to hell. So, why buy silver and gold when... Pretty much, 
really no one is going to accept things of that. Think about that. People are buying more guns and all this stuff here. Isn't it better to get your life right with God? So when you die, because you are going to die, I don't care how many bullets and guns you buy, you are going to die. You are focusing on the wrong things. Other than focusing on God, you are focusing on things. <laughs> you are doing things in vain. Guns, ammo, silver, gold. Once the Antichrist gets in power and implements that mark of the beast, what good is gold and silver? <laughs> so please, please, please take heed to what I am saying. I am just trying to help and trying to get you to make sense of some things. Buy your gold and silver. If we go to war, <laughs> because you know that we are going to war and a foolish race war may happen as well. If we go to war, guess what? People can break into your homes and take your stuff. Well, Kevin, I am going to have my gun here and my ammo here. If hundreds of people rush your home, <laughs> how many people can you take out? Are you understanding what I am trying to say? It is over. It is over. Now it is time to focus purely on God. What if pestilence hit, famines hit, droughts, and things of that nature? What good is your gold and silver, your ammo and stuff like that? No good. No good at all. Man, I am trying to make sense of this. Please listen. Focusing on your earthly life is over. It is time to get right with God and time to mentally prepare yourself if you have to die. If you have to die by any means. That is what you need to focus on now. All this other stuff is meaningless. Meaningless. Focus on God and prepare yourself to die in a tragic way if you have to. Well, Kevin, you have a very bad outlook. Look, we see everything that is happening. Do you believe that any type of president, Trump or anyone else that comes in, do you believe that any of our government officials can fix anything that is going on now? America can never be great again. Never. <laughs> it is over. Get your life right with God now. And if our country goes down, the whole world is going to go down as well. So it doesn't matter if you live in Asia or Europe, Australia, so on and so on. Everything is over. So I pray that this makes sense. Get your life right with God because that is all you are going to have because you are going to lose everything else. So it would make more sense to start giving away things to other people. Give away your extra clothes, your extra shoes, and stuff like that to other people. Don't sell it. Give it away because you are going to lose it. And it is better 
to give it away and get rewarded for it by God than it for than for it to be lost or destroyed somehow. So I pray that this makes sense. It is over. <laughs> God bless you.